hello youtube welcome to my channel secret point my name is milan and in this video session we will see how to write a java program based on private constructor so what will happen when we are declaring a constructor with the access modifier private that we are gonna see in this video session okay so as you can see here that based on this concept i was written one program and uh, the first class what i was taken is with the name a1 a1 is our class name okay within that class a1 i was taking one constructor with uh, a one print and statement that is printing a const okay and uh, in the second class that is b1 within b1 class i was taking one constructor with the name b1 and uh, it is printing also one statement with the uh, with b con okay as you know that class name should be equal with the constructor name so i was taking here class name and the constructor name is equal okay and uh, within the main method main class i was taking i was creating one object for the class a1 and uh, i'm creating one object for class b1 okay so as you know that whenever we are creating any object for class that corresponding class constructor will get executed and uh, please remember that whenever we are creating any object the corresponding class constructor will get executed here the constructor role is to initialize whatever the instance members are there inside a class that will get initialized through constructor here constructor role is not to create an object constructor role is to initialize the object okay constructor role is to get initialized to provide some initialization value to the object not to create object whenever jvm will encounter this new keyword jvm will create or uh, send a request to create a new object based on the instance member uh, based on the instance member size okay based on the instance member size jvm will create uh, send a request to the uh, heap manager to create an object that is a completely separate topic we will discuss about that thing in a later video first uh, we will need to discuss what actually program happen what actually this program will get executed then what output we are gonna get so whenever i'm creating an object for class a1 then what happen is the corresponding class a1 constructor will get executed so as part of the constructor a1 a con will printed in the beginning in the first statement okay and uh, as part of the object creation of class b1 the corresponding class constructor that is b1 const constructor will get executed and the corresponding statement that is b con will be printed on the console so let's compile this program and uh, see what output we are getting okay now i am running this program as you can see here when i run this program i got a con and b con as our output okay so it is a completely executing fine okay no nothing uh, error is present in this program but what happened when i am just removing this comment okay see whenever i am declaring the class a1 constructor as with the access modifier private then what the compilation time error we are getting you can see okay here the constructor a1 is not visible it is saying one message that you can see here whenever we are using any eclipse id or netpins id that during that time if you will commit any mistake then automatically it will show you before the compilation also you can able to identify what's the mistake you have committed in that program okay so now this you can see here that a constructor it is saying one message that is a con the constructor a1 is not visible means the scope of the constructor of class a1 is not available to the main method so what we need to do is we need to create the object for class a1 within that class only actually what happening is whenever you are declaring any constructor with the access modifier private then that class object can be created within that class only means uh, you you are not permitted to create any object for that class outside of that class okay that means if a class is declared if a, if a class constructor is get declared with access modifier private then that class object creation can be done within that class only here i was declaring a1 constructor with the access modifier private so the class a1 object can be created within this class only within this a1 class only i can able to create object for this class if i am trying if i i will try to create any object for class a1 in outside of the class or we can say in the our on any other class then we will get compile time error okay so what i need to do is i am just commenting this uh, whole section okay i am just trying to show you whether i am correct or not okay 
so I am just commenting all the statement here okay now I am having one class only class a1 and I am within that class a1 I am taking one method publish static void main that is main method okay string args array and within this class I am creating an object for class a1 a1 a equal to new a1 so now you can see here that we are not getting any compile sorry any mistakes in tactical mistake or compilation any error messages from the uh, IDE okay so now let's execute this program and see what output we are getting program will exit could not find main class okay so here what why we are getting this output means we are we have saved this program with the name test5 test5 is the class name which is having the main method but actually that that test class we commented it so we need to change the class file name okay here we are using a1 class name as the main method main class so we need to save this file with the class a1 now just rename it mm, where I'm keeping this file is under src com dot secret file then test 5 okay I need to rename it okay okay refactor go to refactor then choose rename option here you can see that I am giving one name a1 is uh, is my class name okay is my file name press ok button okay now execute this program once again wait for some time as it will take some time to get execute okay now you can see here that uh, our program got executed and uh, the a con statement got printed on the console so now you can see that whenever I am declaring the constructor with the access modifier private then the object creation can be possible within that class only within the scope of that class only you can able to create the object so that's it what for what purpose we made this video okay so if you like this video then please do subscribe to my channel and keep sharing with your friends and uh, don't forget to uh, like our official social site pages also so that you will notified for upcoming videos okay that's it for today's session thank you